How do you get you matter? I've explained storage units, recycler, auto crafting, etc. But I haven't shown how to get you matter automatically. This element can be automated like many others. I'm just using this as an example. What I've done with the recycler to explain its function is convert any item using energy. I'll put a solar panel here. It uses energy to create scrap from any object, regardless of what it is. I've made a path with a storage unit, a raw one, and configured the slot. I set it to in, meaning the input is at the bottom, colored blue with auto input enabled. I've told it to take all objects from the bottom. In this case, inside the chest was this dirt path element, which is what's catching me. Then for the output, I've set it to send upwards. As you can see in orange, it's set to auto output. I tell it to send up. And for the recycler in configure slots, we go to input. As you can see, it's receiving. So the recycler receives it. And then I tell it whatever comes out as scrap, send it to the right there, orange output, it sends to the right. Now let's move on to auto crafting. Auto crafting is set with nine scrap like this, bam, lock, and it spreads scrap and crafts with energy too. This also needs power. There's a solar panel behind it. So the solar panel, it's pretty much the same. I've set up one of the slots here with an input on the left, which is where it receives objects. And I've told it, hey, the output, send it to the right side. On the right side, there's another storage unit. Here, I've put a storage unit to store the scrap just because I wanted to and to have a buffer in case I run out of power in the matter fabricator, which can happen, though it's very unlikely. It's not really necessary. We could connect the matter fabricator directly. I do the same process, receive an input, send in output. And here I basically receive it an in input. I receive it and leave the matter here, not sending it anywhere. Though I could send it right to another storage unit. I haven't done that yet. So basically you activate this process here. This has four upgrades. As we can see, it has four overclocker upgrades to run at full speed. Here's a bit of auto crafting, which works correctly, as you can see. Here we have the energy that's being consumed. It's melting the energy. So that's how this small machine works to get this item automatically.